I don't mean to be rude, but we will wait for an hour to see your boss. I'm sorry, sir, but you didn't have an appointment. We didn't have an appointment because every time I called, you put me on hold. I'm sure Dr. Hodges will see you as soon as he can. So what do you want to do? I don't know. I guess we just got to be patient and wait. Ah, oh, screw it. Excuse me, sir. You can't just... All right, here's the deal. My kid's got a damn ulcer because of you, so either you take him seriously or you're going to be taking me seriously. Yes, sir. Janice, why don't you send a little boy in? <laughs> right away. He'll see you now. You're up, moon back. And here, near Apogee, we gimbal the engine to exert a torque that executes a pitch-over maneuver to flip the rocket by 180 degrees. Well, that's very impressive. Thank you very much for taking the time. I'm not done. Oh, uh, sorry. Needless to say, we use a PID controller to minimize the dispersions to the landing site. Anything else? Yes. I'd like a glass of water. It's time to take my Zantac. You've been in there quite a while. Well, if the topic is science, it can be a real chatty patty. I'm bored. Me too. Hey, someday somebody's gonna write a book about Sheldon. Don't you want there to be a chapter about how loving and supportive you two were? Doesn't matter. I ain't reading it. This is groundbreaking work. Thank you. And? And? I thought you might want to apologize. Wh why? You tried to shut me up with a patch. Well, I give those to everyone. And, and you have to understand, Sheldon, that, that while your math is, is theoretically correct, we don't have the technical capability to execute it. So I'm ahead of my time. Well, it would appear so. All right, call me when you catch up. Hey. We can go now. I've often contemplated what might have happened if my father hadn't stuck up for me that day. Would I have gone on to become a world-class theoretical physicist? Or just your average Joe Sixpack theoretical physicist? Dad? Yeah? Thank you. <laughs>